Hey, BookTube, here's a book haul. I'm Jen, and I talk about audiobooks most of the time until I buy a slew of books, and then I talk about those. So that's what I'm going to talk about today is all the books that I got at a book sale recently. It was a library sale that I went to with my BFF Lisa at Books and Smiles. And man, we made a killing. We really did. The hardback books were $2. The trade paperbacks were $1. But all the mass market paperbacks were 25 cents, as well as the children's books. So whew, guess what I bought a lot of? Let me just show you what those were. And also, I got a few things at Dollar Tree recently. And then I also got a few things at the Goodwill bookstore. There's actually an, a dedicated bookstore here. It, it's only books. Let me just start out with the hardbacks that I got at the library sale, and then we'll work our way <laughs> down. First one was Map of the Heart by Susan Wiggs. This is historical fiction, women's fiction. That's really about all I know about it, but it has to do with World War II, and I think this may be France. I don't know, because is this lavender, maybe? Lavender fields? I don't know. It's pretty. Then I picked up uh, Where the River Ends by Charles Martin. This is the author of um, The Mountain Between Us, which was a movie uh, recently. And I loved that movie. I loved it. And there's a booktuber named Oshina, and she talks a lot about Charles Martin. She's reviewed a, a few of his books. And so actually that's why when I saw this, I picked it up thinking, oh yeah, that might be really good. She reviews Christian books, so I'll link her down below and you can um, check out the books that she's uh, read and reviewed from Charles Martin. Uh, we Were the Lucky Ones is a book that I normally wouldn't have picked up, but Lisa said, oh, that's new and it's good and you should read it. It's historical fiction having to do with World War II, which if I have to read historical fiction or if I'm going to read, not like anybody's making me, but if I'm going to read historical fiction, that would be my time period of choice. This uh, has a 4.4 rating on Goodreads. Everybody likes it. It has 30,367 ratings. So that tells me a whole lot of people love this book. So yeah, I'm going for it. Kristen Higgins on Second Thought. I love this author. Um, the uh, Happily Ever Afters, which is my book club, is going to read her newest book for September. And then we're going to do a live show on September 30th and talk about it. And that's going to be great. I really like her books. So whenever I see them, I grab them. I just, you know, grab them up. Found some Gail Carriger books, which I was surprised at. Um, a lot of those are mass market, or a couple are, but I'll go ahead and tell you about this one. It is Imprudence, which is book two in her Custard Protocol series. Couldn't find book one, but I found book two. This was true of a lot of books that I found. It was like the, I don't know, pieces of series, which hopefully they can stand on their own, even though um, they may be set in the same world. This one, um, you probably have to read these in order. Um, the, but it's set in the world, I think, of the Parasol Protectorate, which is uh, late 1800s, and it is urban fantasy. A lot of um, werewolves, and um, this is a novel of peculiar incidents and unruly residents. So vampires, werewolves, you know, ghosts, all that kind of thing. More trade paperbacks. Zero Day is uh, by Mark Rusinovich, and I think that this has to do with cybersecurity. It just looked really good. Um, it is the Jeff Aiken series, book one, and I don't know what that means, if he's a detective or what exactly, but it just looked good. It's kind of, you know, got that, I don't know, digital kind of cyberpunk kind of feel to it. So it, it says it's not science fiction. It is science fact and it is a clear warning of doomsday. Yeah, I'm up for that. I like uh, doomsday slash post-apocalyptic books. And The Dark Side is by Anthony O'Neill. It is blurbed by Peter Kleins, which is why I picked it up. And then, you know what? I flipped it open and read just a chapter, and I couldn't get over how much I loved it because the characters were hilarious. They're just hilarious. And this is narrated on audio by Steve West, so I know I'm going to love the narration. I can't really wait to get into this one. I don't know. It's got to do with the moon. 
but um, this is a two-fisted lunar story, lunar detective story that has everything I've ever loved in a book. So if Peter Klein's liked it, I'm probably going to. The children's books were all 25 cents as well as the mass market paperbacks. And so whenever I see the Chronicles of Narnia, I pick up as many as I can find because I know there are going to be children at my house again, like there were in the past. And I like to have these around so I can just say, here, take this home with you. So I do have several editions of uh, all, several of the books. I don't, I don't know if I have a complete set of any one edition. I think I do, but... Anyway, I got books three, four, five, six, and seven, which are, these are all by C.S. Lewis, The Horse and His Boy, The uh, Prince Caspian, not The Prince Caspian, but just Prince Caspian, The Voyage of the Dawn Treader, uh, The Silver Chair, and The Last Battle. These are all narrated by famous people on audio, and I... Uh, I think I might listen to The Last Battle at some point. Then I got all oh, these mass market paperbacks. There were so many. I got a whole box of Susan Mallory. So I'm just going to tell you what all of those are to start off with. Um, and I, like I said, pieces of series. They're just books here and there, book three, book 10, book five, book, you know, 15, <laughs> like that. This one is Sizzling. It is the Buchanan Saga, book three. And then Tempting, which is the Buchanan Saga book four. This is a bind up of uh, The Ladies' Man by Susan Mallory and then also Some Kind of Wonderful by Sarah Morgan. Sarah Morgan, I think, did all those Manhattan books. And I think she's a Brit, if I'm not mistaken. Um, ladies' Man, The Ladies' Man, is Positively Pregnant book two. And then uh, Some Kind of Wonderful is Puffin Island, book two. So those two series, of course, I can't ever get the first book in the series. No, no, no. That would be too easy, wouldn't it? Uh, One in a Million is book ten. Ten in her hometown Heartbreakers series. I guess I have ten books, nine books to read before this one, but... You know, I think a lot of times these kinds of books will, will function as standalones. You don't have to have read everything. It's nice if you have, but you don't have to. I ended up with two copies of this book, probably because I didn't even look to see what was in the box. I just saw Susan Mallory and thought, oh, you know, I think I like her pretty well. So, you know, romance, what can I say? So this one is in okay shape. This one is in really nice shape. And they are book seven in the Fool's Gold series, which is Summer Days. Then I've got Only Yours, which is book five in the Fool's Gold series. I wonder if I can find all of these in mass market paperbacks in that series. <laughs> we'll see. Fool's Gold, no kidding. Book 16. Not even kidding. Oh my gosh. There are 16 books in this series. I'm not sure if I'm up for that, but... I don't know. If you take them slow, I guess it would be okay. It's called Hold Me. Then I have Chasing Perfect, which is book one in the Fool's Gold series, and I have read this one. So um, it was okay. I didn't hate it. I didn't love it either. Um, but um, yeah. often um, an author will get better and better as the series goes on, so I have a feeling that's going to be true with Fool's Gold. I picked up a book by Lauren Lane, because I've never read her before, um, To Have and to Hold, which is book one in her Wedding Bell series. Hmm, just, you know, really pretty cover, and it's romance. Susan Elizabeth Phillips, First Star I See Tonight. This is book eight in her Chicago Star series, and I've actually listened to this on audio, and it was a lot of fun. It's about a football player and a bodyguard, a woman who becomes his bodyguard. And you can imagine how excited he is to have a woman as his bodyguard when he is a former retired football player who owns a restaurant. It's like, <laughs> this woman's gonna take care of him? Well, she actually does. Rugged Texas Cowboy is, say that again, Rugged Texas Cowboy is by Laura Lay or Laura Lee, and it is a bind up actually, even though it's not very big, of two stories, The Cowboy and the Captive and The Cowboy and the Thief. And I picked this up because I never read Western romance and I thought, why not? That might be kind of fun. I pick up uh, 
Jill Shalvis's books whenever I see them, no matter what format they're in, because I love her as an author. These are two books from her most recent series, which is Heartbreaker Bay. Um, this is book two, which is The Trouble with Mistletoe. And then book four is Chasing Christmas Eve. And a couple more Gail Carriger books. Um, these are from the Parasol Protectorate series. And I've read, I think, the first two books of that series. This is book four, which is Heartless. And then book five, which is Timeless. I think this is the last one. That's a fun series. Again, um, urban fantasy set in the late 1800s, and it's got to do with um, very proper things. I think I read the blurb on one of these. Um, yeah, a novel of vampires, werewolves, and teapots. It's really, really well written. They're very witty, very clever. Yeah. And last mass market paperback is Shift by Rachel Vincent. And this is book five in her Shifter series. I have never read that series. And why in the world did I get book five? I don't know. It was a quarter. That's probably why I picked it up. I really would like to read this series. Um, I like her Soul Screamer series, which is a YA series about banshees. Okay, then from Dollar Tree, I found Mila 2.0 by Deborah Driza. I listened to this on audio and I didn't finish it. I didn't love it. And I think that may have had to do with the way it was narrated. So I, when I saw it, I thought, you know, I think maybe I want to give that another try. It's YA and it's about a girl who is not human. And I don't know that she knows that. <laughs> and then I found Alienated. This is by Melissa Landers. It is um, YA and it's a very cute story about ex foreign exchange students, but he's from another planet. And I had to go back and look at my own YouTube videos to find out if I actually had already gotten this, but I didn't. I got Invaded, which is the second book. Um, so this is a fun series. Um, I liked it a lot. It's very light, very lighthearted, very sweet romance. And then Don't Look Back. This is by Jennifer L. Armentrout, and I think it is one of her first forays into mystery and suspense. I haven't heard really great things about this book, but at the same time, I don't know. There seemed like a lot of books lately that I have heard, you know, differing opinions on, and I've really liked them. So I just thought, you know, whatever. It's, I think it's YA but it's got a pretty cover, so, and then for a dollar. And then at the Goodwill bookstore, I could not believe that I found book uh, three of the Elemental Mysteries by Elizabeth Hunter. This is her vampire series, and I wish I had found the whole series, but I couldn't believe it. I, I never see these books ever anywhere. I mean, you can get them on Amazon, but because she's an indie author, you don't find them very often. So I was thrilled. I wish it were signed. Gosh, how great would that be? But I'll take it just like it is. Really good vampire series. And then I found the, what is this? I forget what the name of this series is, um, but it is books one, two, and three in the series. But this is Instant Temptation, Instant Attraction, and Instant Gratification, all by Jill Shalvis. There is Instant Temptation. And these are all set in a, a like a tourist ski town. Instant uh, Attraction. Good looking guys on the cover. And then Instant Gratification. And that is the book haul. That's everything. Man, I did. I, loved, I mean, I made out like a bandit. I got all kinds of stuff. So if you've read any of these, let me know what you thought of them. I've read some, but I haven't read a lot. And so I'm hoping to get them read soon. So anyway, that's it for now for me. I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Hi.